It's a great place to hit the beach or party late into the night, but there's so much more to this amazing city. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top attractions in Miami. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most unique and exciting attractions and activities in Miami that are sure to appeal to travelers from all walks of life. Bayside Marketplace Located near Bayfront Park in downtown Miami, Bayside is the perfect place to indulge your shopaholic side. But because of its setting and design, the marketplace is more than just a mall. It is an attraction in its own right. In fact, according to the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau, it's the single most visited attraction in the entire city. So what makes Bayside Marketplace so special exactly? It is a two-story open-air shopping center that feels like a community entertainment space. In addition to the retail spaces and kiosks, there's ample sitting room beneath the palm trees that line the spacious walkways, and there is usually music and dancing going on as well. Built around the existing marina, Bayside Market also benefits from a stellar waterfront location that offers a view of the boats. And of course, fans of the Miami Vice TV series are sure to recognize it as a recurring location from the show. The Wolfsonian FIU Sitting right in the very heart of the city's much-beloved Art Deco Historic District, the Wolfsonian FIU, short for Florida International University, is a research center, library, and museum. Sitting on the corner of Washington Avenue and 10th Street, the building was completed in 1927 for the Washington Storage Company and is an example of Mediterranean Revival architecture. The structure is eye-catching and undeniably beautiful, but there's even more to appreciate inside. Dedicated to art and design, specifically the powers of persuasion that both hold, the museum and library are home to an estimated 200,000 works dating from between 1850 and 1950. It's essentially one giant cabinet of curiosities. In the evening, it also plays host to various art, fashion, and design events throughout the year. So who knows, if you time it right and do your homework, you could even find yourself rubbing elbows with local artists, musicians, and influencers. Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden Miami is a beautiful city, but also often a busy one, even on the beaches. Sometimes you just want a little space to stretch your legs and enough relative quiet to be able to hear yourself think. Nature enthusiasts and lovers of all things green are sure to enjoy a trip to Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden, which occupies 83 acres in Coral Gables. Now, Coral Gables is technically its own city, but due to its extreme proximity to Miami proper, much like Miami Beach, it tends to get treated as part of the Greater Miami area. The garden was built in 1936 and opened to the public two years later. Today, it counts 45,000 members and is helped to keep running by some 1,200 volunteers. With its focus on preservation and education, Fairchild has become one of the most respected such institutions in the world and boasts a staggering collection of rare exotic plants. Whether you consider yourself an amateur botanist or not, it makes for an educational and awe-inspiring visit. Coral Castle this attraction is just so delightfully unique, a true testament to what one person can accomplish with time, patience, dedication, and passion. Coral Castle is a limestone home and surrounding sculpture garden that was painstakingly carved and erected over a 28-year period by owner and creator Edward Leitzgalnen. As local legend has it, he started building this castle as a symbol of his love for the young woman who stole his heart, but who left him at the altar back in his home country of Latvia. The majority of the work took place between 1920 and 1940. There's also no documentation as to how Edward Leedsgalnen, known to most simply as Ed, built his castle. And that only adds to the sense of wonder and mystery surrounding this attraction. A modern-day Stonehenge, Coral Castle continues to enchant and mystify visitors to this day, even many decades after Ed's passing. Freedom Tower not to be confused with the One World Trade Center in New York City, which also goes by the name Freedom Tower. This structure on Biscayne Boulevard actually dates back to 1925. Miami's Freedom Tower was designed by Schultz and Weaver, and like the Wolfsonian FIU building, it's an example of the Mediterranean Revival architectural style. Rich in history, the structure originally housed the Miami News. In 1957, the newspaper moved to a new location, and the early 60s saw the building serve as a place to process and provide medical treatment to newly arrived refugees fleeing Fidel Castro in Cuba. In 1979, it was officially added to the National Register of Historic Places. Nowadays, it's used as office space for the Miami-Dade College and appropriately houses a Cuban-American museum, as well as other exhibits. An iconic structure of both architectural and historical importance, it is a must-visit. Wynwood Walls Street Art 
To put it quite simply, the Wynwood Walls are the beating heart of the Miami street art scene. And it's truly amazing just how important they've become considering the project only began in 2009. The Wynwood Walls are the brainchild of art lover and community and real estate developer Ron Goldman. Over the years, Goldman has played a crucial role in revitalizing such noble areas as Soho and New York City, Philadelphia's 13th Street, and Miami's own South Beach. In Wynwood, the concept was simple but brilliant. Use the giant warehouse walls in this neglected area as canvases for a permanent collection of street art. Not only has it become a major attraction and helped drive foot traffic to the area, thus encouraging business, but the artwork itself is stunning, showcasing artists from around the globe. Vizcaya Museum and Gardens Miami is a city rich in beauty, both natural and architectural, and a whole lot of culture. At the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, one finds all of the above in a single attraction. A National Historic Landmark, this property in Coconut Grove occupies 28 acres of land previously owned by James Deering, a businessman, socialite, and antiques dealer. For all Deering did in his lifetime, the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, then known as Villa Vizcaya, is arguably the most enduring part of his legacy. Part of what makes a visit to the estate so fascinating is that the objects on display in the museum are Deering's original antiques and furnishings. Between its contents, the architecture of the villa itself, and the magnificence of the surrounding gardens, Vizcaya should definitely be on your itinerary. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.